Welcome, everybody. I'm glad to have you all here. Uh, can everybody hear me all right? Do you want me to speak up a little bit? All right, excellent. Um, so, like you said, I've been doing this for about 15 years as a volunteer. Um, the Emerging Technologies is such an exciting area for everybody that attends, both the attendees and even the contributors themselves. The fact that this is a jury process that they've gone through is one thing that separates them from most of the other areas, like art gallery and such, isn't necessarily always juried. We um, have always had this selection process, and it's, it's actually quite uh, revered amongst them. They actually like be finding out that they made it into the cut. This year we had 130 submissions, and we had accepted 22 of them. We have 23 total because we also have one that we invite from the Laval France show. So they are also showing up here. So we have a total of 23 for this year. So if you all are ready, we're going to start moving this way and we'll start talking. Now, I do have a video clip that's just a trailer of everything that is showing here. All 23 of them are represented in this clip. This is available out on the web to everybody. So it is out there already available to you. And uh, as you can see, we are, uh, are proud of it. So we've got it set up front. And uh, first here, we've got uh, Metacookie is one of our uh, Japanese, and we actually have uh, the ability to use multiple different technologies here. We're using the VR, or I'm sorry, AR, augmented reality, where they actually burn the uh, symbol on a cookie, and then using the, uh, the visors, you're actually going to see a choice of either a strawberry or a chocolate cookie or something like this. It's just a vanilla cookie, but you actually see this other cookie then you're wearing this helmet that actually releases scents underneath your nose and you're able to s actually taste then because our smell is one of our main taste sensors. You're actually able to taste a chocolate or a vanilla cookie, even though you know in reality you're eating a, a regular cookie. Emerging technologies is truly emerging. Usually these things are not going to be seen in the market for the next five years. This is from Japan. This is from Japan. Okay. Um, so it's usually going to be anywhere from three to five years before any of this stuff would be seen out in a true market. Not to say that everything's going to be marketable. Sometimes this is just to get other people, other innovators, to see what's available. They may be able to utilize that somewhere. Like say NASA comes by and sees this. This may be something NASA is going to want to incorporate in some future technology that they have. Um, so that's, the research is definitely a big part of this area. We've got usually education and businesses that are here. Right now, on each side of us, we actually have Disney research. These are objects that are submissions that they have uh, contributed this year that are very exciting. We have a Zotrope and we have the electronic eye over here. Uh, these are all things that I hope you have time to come back and look at later. But for right now, let's go ahead and start moving further towards the back. So as you can see on each side of me here, we have robotics. We have a small robot over here and we have a robot arm over here. Um, this is this is just as much a part of our interactive. So emerging technologies, part of SIGGRAPH. SIGGRAPH has a tag that isn't necessarily always remembered, is interactive techniques. Robotics is a part of our interactive techniques. So here we are back in the far end of our emerging technologies this year. Um, we have several of them that are very exciting back in here. We have the in-air typing here, where they're actually utilizing a uh, like a a phone device, only instead of having to have a keyboard or a touch screen, you actually are able to hold your finger in the air and do typing with just an air in, or finger in motion. A uh, single finger right now. So this is, again, remember the research, early processes, right now this is just at the single finger stage. So definitely one for you to take some time and look at. Uh, we have a very unique display back here where we're actually utilizing bubbles to be interactive displays. Um, we have the uh, laser technology over here where we're utilizing it for both a location device, this one over here for almost a sound interaction playing device. So this may be something that everybody is familiar with seeing the device on the bottom part is the Microsoft Surface, which had been used in the past. Um, we have some advanced technologies here where we're actually even showing how these devices can be built to interact with this. Normally you have a single surface that um, you're dealing with, right? You've got things that you might be able to set on top of that, but anything up above that usually is not acknowledged. These people have actually came up with a way to build 
building blocks that will be noticed at more than one level. So no matter how many you put, you can keep going up and the device is still going to be able to recognize that these were added to the surface. Preston, can you just for a second, can you say the significance of each one of the robotics? Like oh, sure. why they're sure, sure. specific entries? So each one of our robots that we have here today, um, and actually the eye is actually kind of considered robotics. So the fact that it is um, able to have both the motion and the camera in the device is actually a big advancement in that area. The advancement of our small robot here, Akerban, he is actually a big advancement because he is built exactly like a human, has the same pelvis, same spine movement that they have not had of previous robots. He, therefore, he's not as rigid and doesn't topple over as easy. So then our last one that we have here with the arm, which is Gesture World technology, that one is actually a large advancement in that the speed that it is able to react is very advanced from what it has been in the past. Normally, a camera reaction of your hand moving, it would take a while for the robot arm to react at the same. Now, this year, we have it almost, not exactly, again, research, uh, it is almost at the same speed as your reactions. So, very, very big advancement. All right, let's move on back here. Okay, so this is going to be the last section of our, of our tour right now. Um, over here we have the uh, Sony's 360 display, which is an amazing technology. Now, this is something that we have seen in the past again, but there's some significant advancements in this, and the fact that this has interactivity, it actually allows you to move the objects that you're seeing in 3D and even play games on this 3D object. So, very big advancement. Right alongside of them on the back wall is also our new, a new display technology in that instead of using RGB, the three colors that you're used to seeing on a TV, they've actually added a yellow, so they have four colors on this. So it's going to give you closer to true colors of yellow that you've never seen before in a display. So one of the last, we'll step around here and we'll see our uh, haptic, that we have haptic canvas. So stepping this way. Hey, everybody coming? Yep. All right, we've got everybody again. And like I said, this is going to be pretty much the last. And then any questions that you all have for me, I'll be glad to take, or else we'll work more with Brian. Or, or you're free to go back to any of these and more, please, to uh, see what they have to offer this year. So this is our haptic canvas. It is actually one where they are utilizing a, um, a liquid that actually has a starch in it. They're utilizing vacuums to give you a feedback to where you actually have a resistance that you would not normally have in a substance. So here again, new type of uh, way of looking at things and actually showing you ways that we can interact with our computers. So is there anything else that anybody has any questions about or anything I can help anybody with. Again, please feel free to go back to any of these and any of the others that I passed by. Um, they all worked equally hard to be here and be a part of this.